But she broke her pelvis in three places and she was still conscious enough to say, you know, don't take me to this hospital, I don't want to go there, or I would need to go to this doctor. My uh, girlfriend a few years back was uh, in college and she was riding her bike. She was about to cross the street and a car ran the red light and hit her on her bike. Ran over her bike and knocked her about 30 yards in the air. She had broken her pelvis in three different places and needed to have extensive surgery and had a lot of recovery effort and a lot of rehabilitation to go into it. She was off of her feet for about seven and a half weeks completely. She went through about six months of recovery, uh, of a lot of uh, recuperation therapy. I learned how to walk again just about. Uh, she wasn't able to do any type of work. She had to miss almost an entire semester of school because of it. And uh, she, you know, can barely ride a bike still to this day and her knee still hurts to this day and her recuperation therapy today is that she just walks a whole lot and still you know she walks probably about four miles a day just to kind of make sure that her knee and her body stays fluid and, and active but she was able to make a full recovery from it but you know only because somebody caught it and what was going on in the in the forefront of it when she was hit the the thing about her is that she could have very well been unconscious and she had enough forethought to tell them what hospital she wanted to go to, tell them uh, what she needed to have happen, who she needed to call, but uh, I would say, if, if I had any advice for anybody, have some way to communicate to somebody what you need to be done. You know, if you get hit by a car, who are they gonna call? Who are they, I mean, they might not even know who you are. Have a card or something in your pocket where they know your medical conditions and things like that.